Okay, this is Lori from Shushi Paper Art. Um, today I am showcasing a fun Halloween background featuring distress inks and this cool warm highlight. Cool warm. <laughs> okay, so it is really cool, but it's called Warm Highlights and it's a micro fine glitter. I don't know if we can pick that up or not. It's a very subtle shine with lots of gold and copper colors in it. And it's all over the whole entire background. It looks really awesome. All right, so let's get started. This starts with a piece of Bristol that is four inches by, oh, five and a fourth, I believe. And I'm going to start just blending uh, Distress inks I'm using a scattered straw to make a uh, sort of um, moon in the middle of the paper. And I don't necessarily want it to be a circle. I just want it to um, be somewhat hazy looking. And I'm going to go ahead and put quite a bit there because the glitter does have the effect of muting the color somewhat. So um, you want to go ahead and and give it some color. Well, let's see, I think I'll do it one more time. And then I'm going to go ahead and lay in the ground. I'm going to start with uh, some Twisted Citron. And then I'm going to come in with a little bit of uh, peeled paint. Around the moon, I am going to put in some Victorian velvet. going to add some dusty concord. I want to come back in and do the moon a little bit more. And you may have noticed that I didn't worry too much about how it looks or how well it's blended because um, it's really not going to make that much difference once I get the glitter on it. I just basically wanted to lay in some color. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is put some uh, water dots on it. make sure this is completely dry. You can either um, let it dry on its own or you can use a heat tool or maybe a blow dryer. Now I'm going to stamp on the trees and this is from the Spooktacular Friends set from MFT Stamps. It has these cute little critters um, and some little pumpkins and the haunted house and trees. So um, I'm going to put the trees under the glitter you may have noticed that I stamped each tree twice. I wanted to make sure that it was fairly dark so that it would um, show through the glitter because it is going to mute it down just a little bit. All right, we are ready to put on the glitter. All right, the first step to getting a good coat of this glitter is this um, double-sided heavy-duty uh, tape. This comes in sheets, it comes in rolls. I've had this for a long, long time, and so um, this is the... Um, 
one that I'll be using today, and it's wide enough to cover most cards, so this one works out pretty well for me. and use non-stick scissors. This tape is really sticky. And once you have it uh, trimmed around your card, you can go ahead and peel off that top layer. It's really sticky. All right. Yeah, I'm just going to sprinkle this glitter on and um, you know I'm going old school here just a piece of copy paper to catch my glitter okay now this has to be burnished, so I'm just going to start by rubbing it with my fingers first and just getting all of the loose glitter off of the front of the card. And as you're burnishing the glitter, you will begin to see the, the warm highlights coming through. I just don't know if you're catching that in the um, video or not, but it is quite pretty. All right, after I've burnished it with my fingers, I'm going to take a bone folder and continue the process of burnishing the, um, the glitter. And I'm going both directions. All right. Oh, I wish you could see the um, the gold shimmer on that. I just I just don't know if I can catch it. Any? Can you see it down in here? Maybe. It's like this all over. It's it's just gorgeous. It really is. Okay, I put this um, piece on some gold 110 pound card stock and it is so pretty. The gold just completely sets off those warm tone highlights. I really, really like this gold paper. It's a, a gold paper that I get from Staples and I'll have it linked down uh, below. Okay, and then um, my card base is black. Okay, I colored the little um, darling critters with my uh, Copics, and there's a complete list of um, the Copics on my blog. Most of these are just simply colored. I might mention um, the owl. His uh, coloring is a little bit darker than the, the orange color is a little bit darker than the color on the mouse and this is actually oranges and lavenders and that turns out really pretty the sentiment is um, from the stamp set and it is heat embossed with lawn fawn um, embossing powder white and um, Versamark ink, and I'm just going to put um, these critters on, let's see, the rabbit and the owl are with pop dots, and everything else is just glued in place.
mention about these critters. They do come with dyes, which I have, but when I cut them out with the dyes, you know, they leave a white um, um, area around the image, and I, I really didn't, don't usually mind that, but for some reason on this card, I really just wanted the images with no um, white around them. So, I went ahead and cut them out by hand instead, and it wasn't too bad. The only thing that was a problem was the mouse's tail, because he has a really cute little curly cue, and I just couldn't get that cut. So he ended up with a kind of a little straight tail there at the end, which, yeah. <laughs> And these little ghosts weren't too bad to cut out, actually. They're so cute. This whole stamp set is, is really, really cute. Oops, I think I put that in the wrong place because I'm going to put pumpkins there. Good thing I caught that before it dried. Okay. <laughs> I'm putting this, this one up here because this one's going to be covered up with pumpkins. All right, so there are the spectacular friends, aren't they cute? And this fun glitter background. I just love it, it's so pretty. Thank you so much for joining me today. Remember, you can always find me at shushupaperart.com.